In this video, I'm going to talk about what's new in the Filmora 10.5. Yes, there's some exciting new features. Some of them are pretty good. Some of them that I might not find so much. Stay to the end of this video where I'll cover whether I think it is worth the price that you need to pay for it. I just want to make it up front that it is, some of these effects are not free. However, even if you choose not to pay for the effects, there are also some free stuff for you. So let's dive straight into this video. Now, I am in Filmora 10.5.1.8, so now there's not much change to the interface. However, the key thing that have uh, been implemented into Filmora is actually film stocks, which is part of uh, Filmora's uh, additional uh, media that you can actually purchase separately. Now it is integrated into the software. Okay, so for example, in the titles here, uh, you'll see that there's a lot more titles and you have a folder here that's called hot. So let's uh, show you what I mean. Okay, let's look for say a social media title and let's place it here on the timeline here. All right, now you need to download this. And as you can see on the screen right now, it tells you that it is a paid resource and you have to purchase it before you export. However, you can try it first and see whether you like it. Uh, just click on try it and you can actually see it on the screen. Okay, so let's take a look at what this looks like. Okay, now this is a social media pack. Uh, pretty useful if you, are, if you need lower thirds uh, titles for your videos. And uh, you will know which one is free and which one is paid. Uh, there will be a diamond at the top corner if, you, if that's a paid uh, pack. Okay, so quite a lot of these are actually paid. However, there are also free ones from the original, for example, the lower thirds. Uh, these are the original lower thirds that you don't need to pay. So uh, to me, I feel that if you want to have this extra, it may be worth the price because uh, I use other software as well and if you want to generate something like this uh, from the start or maybe you're generating it from another uh, editing software, uh, it actually takes quite a lot of time. Okay, I'm going to remove this uh, social media lower third. Let's take a look at what else is there. Some of it could be like the subscription pack and all this are uh, actually quite useful uh, because it will make your job so much faster okay and especially if you do not want to spend too much time it may be something for you to consider every time you use a paid feature uh, the warning will pop out now if it seems a little bit of a hassle you can also check this and say don't ask again for this project and just try it and this warning sign won't pop up again. Uh, it will pop up for your next project but you can just do this so uh, it is not too annoying in my opinion. Alright, so let's try this. Okay, so now this is a road trip pack. Okay, pretty interesting as well. So uh, if you want to do this something effect like this uh, in another software, I'm sure you can but I it might take quite a fair bit of time to do this. Like for example, if you look at what's happening on the screen here, uh, this square here, you can actually, the text you can actually keyframe it. But to entire to keyframe the entire thing or to create a graphic for this will actually uh, take a lot more time. Or maybe you also need to purchase it from some other stock uh, footage. Uh, website so it again is a money and like I said it might be useful for you to me things like this isn't that much useful for me uh, so you have to evaluate for yourself all right so this is the integration of Filmora and the Filmora pack now one thing to note is that now if you integrate this uh, pack and you want to export the video uh, it will actually uh, connect with Filmora's so server somewhere and it will ask you whether you want to uh, purchase any of this okay now you can do the simple thing which is just re remove and export now it doesn't really remove it from your export it's just that in your uh, exported video uh, you won't see all the effects so it is actually not too big of a hassle we will talk about this purchase later on. Okay, so let's just uh, let's not export it for now. The next thing that I find interesting is actually what Filmora calls artificial intelligence. Now I'm not sure how much uh, AI goes into it. Uh, maybe some, maybe it's not that AI. Everybody seems to be on AI these days. So the AI resides in the AI effects tab. Okay, so you have three here. So one is the AI portrait, as you can see, things like human segmentation. So I've actually taken the courtesy to put human segmentation on my, uh, on my track here. 
Okay, so let me just do this first. So let's hide the uh, effect. Now this is the original effect. Okay, I am just testing it out uh, to make sure how good is this uh, uh, human segmentation effect. Okay, so once I turn it on, you can see it. Okay. So you can see there is some uh, kind of things happening over here at the corner and some wave. I'm not sure whether it's the DSLR having, um, what's that effect called? Rolling shutter. Okay, maybe it's a rolling shutter effect. Okay, that causes this, I'm not quite sure. However, this human uh, uh, segmentation is pretty interesting in the sense that you can adjust the uh, edge thickness. Right, so there may be some use for this. I was actually testing this uh, feature out uh, pretty extensively because I was thinking uh, if I have this, would I need to use a green screen? Now, unfortunately, at this point in time, and I have played around with uh, uh, this uh, compositing, uh, apparently it doesn't uh, create a green screen uh, effect. It does remove all the other things in the background and turn it into a black background. However, it doesn't seem like I can uh, create a green screen effect. Or maybe I'm doing something wrong. I am not quite sure. Maybe Fomora will create an update that allows uh, proper green screening. Like for example, once they put the effect of human segmentation uh, instead of a black screen, it would be a transparent background. Okay, that way uh, it can be. Uh, you can use the software without green screen, which is actually uh, what you can see in a lot of software like TikTok. Having said that, if you play around with their compositing, okay, you can actually. Uh, create some very cool effects right by having a, another layer of video at the bottom of the screen right uh, it create a scene as if you are trying to remember something and i find that this is actually pretty interesting if you are after this kind of effects and uh, for this alone i think the price of admission is worth it if you're doing this kind of video that's talking about uh, ai portrait now on top of that you have things like human noise, human pixelate, which is also pretty uh, useful. Okay, let's put the pixelate over here. Okay, so now you can see on the screen right now, I am pixelated. Okay, and uh, the same as uh, the human noise. Okay, so let's remove that. Now over here uh, is the next thing. Okay, this is human glitch, which is part of uh, this uh, AI portrait. Okay, so the Third thing is the AR stickers. So what are AR stickers? It's quite similar to uh, things what I see in Snapchat where you can add some AR stickers. All right. So like for example, here I am looking like an angel. There is a halo over my head. Right. Uh, more interesting is uh, maybe looking like a Jack Sparrow in Pirates of the Caribbean. It is motion tracking, I believe, plus some other things there. So this is AR stickers. Okay, so this looks like it's all paid. Okay, there's a star there. So um, you have to decide whether it's worth it if you are using this one. One of the most uh, useful thing I find is actually called AI reframing. Okay, now AI reframing is in this menu here. All right, so you have to go back to your main media and uh, let's look at this one here. Okay, right click and we're gonna go into uh, auto reframe. Okay, and what it, this does is that the Wondershare, this software would analyze the screen, okay? And you can actually set the aspect ratio. Let's do a, a one over one and uh, analyze this screen. Now what's happening is that the software will analyze the movement in your screen so that if you want to make your video into a different aspect ratio, for example, you want to use this video in on an Instagram, and you can see this, right? So I'm going to put my mouse here at the bottom of the screen. You can see that the frame is moving, okay? Automatically, I didn't do anything. I just asked the Mora to analyze this and he sees the frame is actually following that person. So uh, that way you have a simple job of creating a video for your Instagram. So I find this is uh, quite a useful feature when you are making videos for multiple social media platforms, right? So you can choose, for example, you want 916, 43. Uh, however, you can't choose back the same aspect ratio, all right? So this is uh, AI reframing. Finally, the last thing is something called auto-highlight. 
uh, I find it is uh, quite useful. So auto highlight is something that you could tell Filmora to do uh, when you export the video. Okay, so let's click on the export tab. Now again, it starts validating the resource. Now I'm just going to click on remove and ex uh, export, which means uh, when I export all this human segmentation effect, uh, all the angel and pirates uh, won't be there. Okay. However, what I'm going to show you is this auto highlight. Okay. Now when you enable auto highlight, you can choose and tell uh, Filmora to create an extra video uh, clip in essence. All right. So I have tested this. I found that when I test this with my uh, export, I had a two-minute video. So when you tell uh, Filmora, it, it will actually create a shorter video, for example, in TikTok or in YouTube shots, or you can also cast uh, here on the screen that, uh, uh, that have me driving. I was driving uh, in my car uh, up a mountain, and then uh, it knew when to remove some of that segments, okay, because it's, uh, certain segments may be uh, the, the scene didn't change much, uh, so it actually removed those. However, and it ended up with a video that is one minute long, okay, so that I could upload it to TikTok or somewhere else. Okay, so let's cancel the export. Which brings us to the final part here. Uh, how much does this cost and are these features worth it? Go to the payments case, pretty is, yeah, easy. Just click on export and let's just click on you want to purchase this and you will take you to the screen okay now these effects are $5.99 per month okay if you go for the uh, film stock standard assets uh, it will be $15.99 per month okay $15.99 $16 per month okay so you can choose right and for example so for the AI portrait add-on it will be just uh, $6 per month Okay, if you go on a monthly plan, uh, if you choose the film stock standard access, it will be extra, uh, it will be $16 per month. Now, this is on top of uh, Filmora, the software. So, Filmora isn't free. Now, Filmora itself, if you go with the monthly plan, is close to $20 per, uh, per month, 20 USD. If you go for the annual plan, it's $51.99. Okay, so if you go on the annual plan every year, they will charge you uh, $52. Whether it's worth it or not, it would be up to you depending on what you do with this software. Now, for me, it's, I'm, most likely I won't go for the pack for the reason that I don't use a lot of this effect. However, if you're using this software to create videos for your business, if you're using this uh, software to create videos fast for, say, uh, uh, YouTube, or you're creating soft, uh, your, the videos for uh, YouTube as well as other social media, I can see that there are benefits in using this uh, software. Alright, so uh, thank you. Hope that this video has helped you. Uh, do check out my other tutorials here on uh, Filmora. I also have courses on various video editors. You can check them out in the link in the description below.